So I've been down for a week waiting for this box to come in. <coughs> All kinds of parts for the back end over there. What we got here? Wheel cylinder, because my wheel cylinders are 45 years old. And it started to leak, that one in particular. Okay, that's right. I ordered two, I got two. What else we got in here? We got some. Um, ah, yes, this should help my suspension issues in the back. It's the right amount, it's the right types, excellent. And then we have the brake lines. I'm sure I got two of these. And I do, I got two brake lines. Yes, yeah, top line. Top line comes through for me. Alright, <clears throat> I'm not going to show a whole lot of uh, what I'm going to do here, but uh, of course you got to get these three bolts off. The sway bar's got to go out of the way. This gets loose. Take this off. Pop the shock absorber out. And there's two different ways you can do this. You can take the entire assembly and go down with it. Or, and this is what I'm going to do, you can lift it. Uh, lifting, you won't clear the, the bar, but it gives you enough space so that you can still pry the bar loose and put it back together. It's, it's not real easy, but there are, there are videos on the internet about doing this, and uh, I can't really add anything to it. I'm just going to do it. The only thing i got to do is, you know, this entire piece has got to come off because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to readjust the torsion bars, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to pull this entire assembly out. <laughs> Sorry, not readjust, but I'm going to. I'm going to rebush it, which means it's got to come out. Kind of the midpoint here. Got uh, got it off the stop position down in here, and uh, of course I got it beyond this point. There, got uh, one of the bushings is out of the way. The plate's out of the way, of course. All right, this is one thing different about my install that you have, I haven't seen on the internet yet is the fact that, you know, I've got the sway bar on here and there's just barely enough room to get your finger in there, but it does, it still allows it to free movement, so I can still test it. And uh, this is what I'm using to crank it and pull it out of the way, it's just this thing right here. I mean, I, you know, all I ever see is people using their screwdrivers, but uh, I mean, that's what this thing's designed for, is for prying stuff loose, so I'm going to... I'm going to use this to get it off the rest of the way. So I put a little piece of duct tape over here on this member and got myself a little line so I've got a reference point. And uh, this piece of duct tape tells me you know, how far I've got to take this plate. So I've got that guy, this guy. It's just easier to see it you know, as long as I'm careful not to pull it loose. But uh... Alright, and here's another piece that I haven't seen anybody do on the internet yet. Of course, you know, because i got to get this entire assembly out because I'm replacing the bushing over here. Uh, like I said, of course, I've got this pulled loose, and uh, you know, there's my torsion bar, which pulled out on the inside instead of the outside. So, and eh, whatever. But uh, you know, so anyway, we're loose. So these are all my all my original components, 1973 components. You know, 45 years old. It's my bump stop, still solid. This is the outer grommet bushing, whatever you want to call it. You can tell it's a little bit off center. I don't think it was ever installed properly to begin with. But uh, one of the guys on the Samba said uh, you might be dry rotted. And it's not. At least that piece right there. And I haven't yanked this one off yet, but just a quick inspection of it. It's like, nope, it's still a grommet. It's still doing its job. But uh, it is old. I don't, I'm not sure what this is. You know, something. You know, it's just old and tired. All right, and here they are side by side. The old ones here. These are the new ones here. And, uh, you know, based on things like the, the font of this particular number and the font of that number right there, you know, as soon as I looked at these things, I was like, man, these are energy suspension components, which is the same company I used to do my sway bar. And then you look at the grease, and what does it say? Energy suspension. So... <clears throat> I liked how those fit, so I expect these to fit pretty well too. Alright, this one was kind of a pain in the butt. Real quick, you see all this gook and build up of stuff you got on this piece right here? To me, it's a lot of undercoating. You, know, you scrape your undercoating off and this thing will slide on real easy. If you don't, don't get this undercoating crap off, it doesn't go on easy. It does go on clearly, but it doesn't go on easy. Well, anyway, these, these two pieces are set. I've got like an initial set on the interior spline. I just dropped it on the outside spline. 
And now I've got to try and set up my line. And right now I've got it raised about the right amount. I didn't want to see much. I don't want much. Just real subtle. I'm not going to turn this thing into a Baja. Alright, we're at another milestone. We're above the notch there. We're underneath here. It's basically in place. However, this is not set just yet. I, uh, uh, a lot of people say get yourself some longer bolts. You take your long bolts and get it positioned and then cram it down with long bolts. And once you got it tightened up, pull the long bolts out, put the short bolts back in. Uh, but I don't want to make a trip over to Home Depot, so. Alright, I suck. I couldn't figure out how to do it, so I went out and I bought some bolts. I'll try and tighten it up with the bolts. Ah, uh, I don't have great light today. That's okay, I'm not videoing a whole bunch of this stuff. But anyway, I got the original bolts back in there. And, uh, yeah, sadly I had to break down and get the, uh, get the replacement bolts as I showed. Ran out of light last night, so come back out this morning to finish it off. Got it all tucked in there nice and tight. What's neat about it is that, uh, maybe I'll do this later, but, uh, this tube right here, it used to not fit centered inside that opening, and now it's more centered inside the opening so uh, clearly you know some of the clanking that I was getting was this tube banging up against the plate and uh, this is going to take care of that so I'm digging through my parts here I'm looking at this guy now a shock absorber and uh, I'm pretty sure this is the original shock on the car 45 years old it still works so fender is all Tied back in. Hopefully, it's uh, not lopsided. You know, I mean, the guys who painted it—they didn't do a very good job in many places, but they did get the fender beating in pretty well. And I think that looks okay. Anyway, I got to get this thing off because it's leaking. You see this big smear down there? Yeah, brake fluid. It's not bad, but bad enough. I think I got everything torqued down. Got those four torqued down, got these three torqued down, got the sway bar back on, got the shock back in, and I don't have any leftover bolts or washers, so good sign. So, got to get access to that brake cylinder back here, which means, of course, taking uh, the drum off, which means getting that nut off, which means I got to crack out my, my heavy duty stuff. Got my 36 millimeter nut, my breaker bar, and my, my lock. Hold everything in place. And there it is. And uh, I've got a video that shows what this looked like. And uh, boy, it was nice and clean back in here. And now it's a brake fluid encrusted mess. And that is, that's coated in brake fluid right there. It's like, yeah, no one of the stopping power in the back was like diminished. And uh, this is the side that's leaking right there. You can see there's a big smear underneath it right there. Other side's looking all right, but uh, anyway, that's got to go. All right, I'm about ready to bolt it all back up again. I say a lot of that stuff is pretty standard, so I didn't video it or <coughs> film it, nothing like that. Down here is the that's the wheel cylinder, and I don't think there's anything wrong with the wheel cylinder. Uh, I think the the uh, the rubber parts failed. Um, I did have an issue with. Uh, let me see if I can get these guys out here. I did not install my braided line. Uh, a lot of rust under there. And uh, I got some WD-40. I let it sit for, I don't know, only 12 hours, 14, something like that. Could not get it to come loose. So, uh, it's not leaking. And they don't appear to be failing. They are ancient, but, uh, you know, maybe I'll go out and get some specialty stuff and it on there let it sit for a week and then get back to it but uh, I've got to do the adjusters you know you have to back your adjusters off so you can get the drum off so I've got to put my adjusters back into position so I've rolled it out of the garage got it cranked up and that looks better than it was looks about right ever so slightly tighter in the front than the back. That's about what it should be though. Anyway, 
I'm gonna go bouncing around some roundabouts and over some speed bumps and stuff like that and see what it feels like. <coughs> Alright, and so here's the other side of the car. And of course you know with the rear sway bar, some of the lift that I put on the other side is going to translate into lift on this side. And as I look at it right now, I don't think I actually need to do any lifting in the back. Like I look at how the front sits and the back, and if you look at the shadow, that looks pretty even. If you look at the black part now, as opposed to the shadow against the tire, I say the black, uh, you know, the back looks like it's lifted ever so slightly over the front. <coughs> None of my brake stuff broke loose, so my brakes work the entire way, so that's, that's a good thing. And I did take it out on the highway a little bit, and it felt a lot better. I can tell though that the other side is still a little bit on the a little bit on the old and tired side. All right, I've been waiting days to get back to, to working on the car again, and uh, you know, I had to over the Memorial Day weekend rearrange the house, furniture moving here and there and whatnot, and I just I didn't even get out to catch a fish. That's how bad the weekend was. And uh, anyway, it's been raining. I had to work, plus it's been raining the last couple of days, so I now have an opportunity finally to get going on this on the passenger side. All right, before I get going on this, I got to figure out, first of all, all right, I've already lifted this a little tiny bit. But because I have a sway bar, some of the lift translates through the sway bar to a lift on this side. So this side has now lifted. And uh, of course it was sitting on the edge of this piece of wood. So I just had to pick the car up a little tiny bit to get the wood out from underneath there. And, uh, and of course you got to figure out, you know, you know where is it going to sit? So you got to jump up and down on it a little bit, you know. Get everything to kind of settle in a little bit. And now I get to go left and right to figure out how much I need to lift it. Alright, on this side, side I'm at uh, right to the bottom lip of that guy right there. I'm at 25 and 7 eighths. And uh, to the bottom of the lip on this side, we're at 26 and a half. Let me show you real quick. Maybe I can get this on here. Yeah, it's about the right place, and there we go, 26 and a half. So if I raise it a half inch, some of them go to the other side. If I raise it about three quarters of an inch, that's about where you need to be. It's a fairly decent sized lift, but uh, you know, keep the muffler off the ground, which is kind of what I'm looking for. I don't want to smack that muffler. Got a little bit more light on this side, anyway. Shock absorber out, bump stop out, got it propped up here a little bit. Uh, of course, got my piece of tape there so I can get my, my alignment I'll get it ready to go back together again. And there it is, all yanked apart, and here's my bushings. This one looks like it's got a little bit of uh, shredding, tearing up going on with it. This guy is fantastic, beautiful though. But uh, <clears throat> they got to go, and of course, I got my angle line. It's my angle line right there. So, just a tiny, tiny bit of change on this guy is all I need. And uh, of course, you got the fender loose. You got to crank your fender. A whole bunch of bolts came off. What I do? I think I took it apart all the way back, all the way back to this one up here. It's about halfway. Anyway, it's enough to get it loose. Yeah, I know it's kind of dark, but um, anyway, ever so slightly on the angle here. Just ever so slightly. That should be about the right amount. Okay, I got two long bolts in, so with those guys in place, I mean, it's not super tight, but with them in place, we then lifted it up, so uh, we're on this bump stop right here. We're behind the plate right there. And, uh, got to do some tightening on this now. So I lost my alignment on the bolt holes. I had to pop it off again. So now I got... I've reversed threaded this one right here, which allows me, it keeps things aligned. I can use it like a stud. I just push things on, it keeps it lined down here. And then I'm using these two, sorry, these two right here. 
to uh, to pull things in. I'm at the point right now where I've got to lift it up though. So this is the fourth time I've taken this plate and put it on. All right, it means I've taken it off three times. Well, not including the original one, but uh, okay. So once I've got the new parts in, I had to back the thing off three times in order to get that bolt right there. And this one flat out would not go in straight. So what I had to do was, uh, let me see if I can find it. All right, this one. I dremeled the threads off the end of it so that I could get it to go in straight without the plate in there. Because something had, something had gotten fouled up in there. So I took this thing, put it in straight, got the threads to realign themselves, backed this sucker out. Then, put these guys in. You know, let's clamp it down a little bit with these oversized guys right here, you know, because they're easy. But once I got it pretty much lined up and crammed in place with that other one, this guy and this guy, which are the factory bolts, which are the ones you're supposed to run, uh, they mounted in. But it's only loose right now so that I can uh, I can lift the plate back up for, uh, how many times have I lifted the plate up? I think this is going to be plate number, lift, lifting number four on that plate as well. So, so it's all bolted back together again. And, uh, yeah, I'm kind of tired of working on it right now, so I'll, uh, since this wheel cylinder doesn't appear to be leaking, unlike the other side, uh, I'm not going to replace it right now. Which means, other than getting the wheel on and the car back on the ground, I think the mechanical part of this job is done. I just got to check it once I get it on the ground and roll it a little bit. See how good a job we did. So wiggle it out of the garage and whatnot. So I think the suspension's had a chance to have a preliminary take. Preliminary. Uh, so I got my uh, got my ruler out. Well, let's see what we got here. Twenty-seven. That's a bit much. I don't know if I want 27. And of course, you know, some of it would have translated to this side as well. Yeah, what are we looking at here? 27, so at least it's even. But I think it's a little bit high, but it's such a pain in the ass to take it and re-index it. I think we're going to have to let that, let it go. What's it look like from a distance? Eh, it looks all right. It'll probably settle down once I hit a few speed bumps and whatnot. Maybe we'll drop a quarter inch or something. Who knows? So anyway, I drove it up here to lunch over here at one of our little Taco Bells, of course. And uh, it looks like it's sitting at about the same level. But anyway, I took it out on the highway. Massive improvement. Absolutely massive. It's not a wicked windy day today. It's not really a bit of a breeze, but it's not terrible. But it's raining slightly, so I call it a day and get this thing posted.